Hey guys, it's me, Mishas Bell Reports. Today we are playing a 2000 points battle between my Imperial Knights and Anna's Adeptus Custodes. Say hi, Anna. Hello. And we'll see you in the game. Knight's side, we have three big knights. Of course, we have Kanye Strex, as he's the best Imperial Knight, probably. Where is the Caldus? <laughs> uh, and the Imper best Imperial Knight in the Codex. You probably almost always want to have him if you want to run a competitive list. And this is kind of semi competitive, uh, something that I assembled that I think should work well. We'll see against Custodes. Uh, we obviously have Sir Hector here as the noble pilot of this knight. And in terms of two other big knights, we have one knight Gallant who has uh, <laughs> two uh, Reaper chain swords or whatever the name is. Uh, I just don't have the uh, uh, Paragon Gauntlet, whatever the Gauntlet part of uh, for him for now. And the uh, Knight Paladin as well. If I had 10 more points, I would most definitely exchange the Paladin and Gallant into two errands, but just 10 points shy. So we'll wait until the next Balance data slate for some discounts and two Warg Waves and two Halverins. So that's the list uh, idea here. And obviously, Caldus, of course, uh, who is going to be played by the engines here because we only have uh, one instance of a Caldus. I'm not an insane person who has multiple Calduses in the collection. So the actual Caldus is going to be with the uh, Custodes. And I will have a Caldus in the shape of a nice engine here model. So that's how the Imperial Knights list is going to look like. That's the Adeptus Custodes. Anna, please tell us what you have here in the list. That's pretty simple. So you see Land Raider. Of course, Land yeah. Raider. Yeah. Uh, Who's the... obviously carrying the, the guys in front of him. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these are Alaris guys. Uh -huh. uh, Alaris. We have sisters. We have Calidus. Squad of four sisters, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. We have Calidus. I'm counting on you, girl. <laughs> um, so we have Wardens with Shield Captain. Yeah, with this and guy. Yeah, and two squads of um, custodian guards mm -hmm. with spears uh, and two blade champions. Yeah, you have, uh, I think you said that you have like, yes, one shield. Yes, I have shield one each. shield in each squad. Yeah, so, and in terms of the blade champions, obviously one is the yeah. actual blade champion, the other is my, uh, as my brother called him, Shadow Lars. So <laughs> it's my conversion of the um, Page of Lars, well, not a real conversion, just a head swap. Uh, so today he will be our blade champion, just because my second blade champion is currently in uh, the making, so we don't have him yet. So this is going to be the second blade champion. And that's the 2000 points for Adeptus Custodes. This is our battlefield here. Uh, we have a typical terrain layout for the Leviathan GT missions. We're playing search and destroy deployment. So someone's going to be on this side, someone's going to be on that side over there and the supply drop primary mission, which means that our home objectives are essentially, uh, they don't mean anything for the primaries, they only mean uh, stuff for secondaries, and we're both going to be playing tactical, so they will mean something, but we just don't have to hold on to them the entire game if we don't want to. And the actual mission is we're going to be determining which objective is alpha or omega in terms of the three objectives that are in no man's land so this one this one and that one uh, that happens at the beginning of the battle and in the fourth battle round uh, the alpha omega objective is going to be removed and in the fifth battle round the other objective is going to be removed and only a mega objective is going to stay on the uh, tabletop and we are going to be scoring progressively higher as rounds go on so um, eight victory points in the fourth battle round when only two objectives remain in no man's land and in the fifth battle round, the big 15 points. And in second, third, five victory points as normal. So that's the mission. Within the grand Hololith chamber, deep in Terra's heart, an extraordinary simulation unfolds. The Adeptus Custodes, Terra's elite guardians, engage in a tactical exercise with the formidable force of Imperial Knights. The scenario is a defense of the Imperial Palace against a simulated large-scale assault with the Knights assuming the role of a hypothetical enemy. Leading the Custodian forces are two Blade Champions, each at the head of a squad of Custodian Guards, demonstrating their unparalleled martial prowess. 
A shield captain commanding a unit of wardens orchestrates the defense with strategic acumen while a Caldas assassin lurks in the shadows ready to strike. Adding to their formidable presence, a squad of Alaris custodians stands ready with the Land Raider, a symbol of their indomitable will. Opposing them, the Imperial Knights showcase their might. Kenny's Rex, piloted by the renowned Sir Hector, leads the charge, a beacon of knightly honor. Accompanying him are a Knight Paladin and a Knight Gallant, each a titan of war, while two nimble warglaves and a pair of Helverins lend their firepower and agility to the mock battle. This simulation is more than a test of strength, it's a spectacle of strategy and skill. As the Holith environment shifts and changes, both custodies and knights adapt, showcasing their capabilities in defending the Imperium. In this trial, every move is a lesson in warfare, every strike a testament to their duty, watched over by the silent approval of the Emperor. Here is how we deployed. Uh, I have positioned my knights as well as I could with what uh, space I have in my deployment zone, because it's quite limited for Imperial Knights. They have huge bases. I have not played with these guys for a while, so I really forgot how much real estate they take up in your deployment zone. Anna was laughing at me when I was <laughs> setting them up because she was always playing Imperial Knights and uh, I struggled to find space. I, I've set up all my uh, two big knights and four armages. I'm like, oh, okay, that's fine. And then I see the Kenneth Rex here and I'm like, oh no, I have extra knight to play. So essentially, this war wave is position to maybe go to the subjective or maybe threaten something over there. So are uh, these two and the Gallant is close enough to the Custodian Guard squad over here to maybe charge them, but also a bit further away so that it's not an automatic charge if they decide to advance and charge once per game. Uh, those Custodians over there, I don't have really an answer for them, apart from maybe this Helverin here drawing a line if I move slightly this way. And uh, Paladin and Rex are somewhere in the center so that they have a lot of <laughs> ways to move around. That's pretty much how I deployed. We'll see how that, how well that was. And uh, Caladis is here on the back objective just chilling, waiting for her time to come up and into the high atmosphere. Uh, the Custodes, what did you do with your deployment? So sisters are hiding. Also, they are making sure that your Kaladis won't go this way. Mm -hmm. So she's uh, yeah. screening out the uh, yeah. back, back entrance to her. They are holding zone. this uh, home objective marker in case I um, draw some secondary mission, mm -hmm. including this objective marker. Mm -hmm. And um, Land Raider is not too far, but not too near. <laughs> it's just close just, by. Yeah. Close by, but not too too close. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. You have maybe a decent charge if you go straight 10 inches and uh, deploy your Alaris. Alaris are inside the Land Raider. Everything else is on the table, right? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so also we have wardens. They are like uh, staying this for... Um, they here? Yes, uh, if they want to go here or here. So either can... this objective or that yes, objective? Yes, they can do it easily. And the, the squad is threatening my front yes. line of uh, knights. Okay. And these guys are uh -huh. probably going to go there. Go for that objective. And yes. there is also a hidden Caladus over there, you see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah probably Caladus. did not spot there even. I, I almost forgot about it. And also they are pretty close to this mm -hmm. objective marker in case something goes wrong here. So and... we both have a lot of options. That's yeah. what you're saying, right? Yeah. Okay. So uh, the roll off to see who goes first. Yeah. To Black Anna and have Black a very Anna. nice game. Six and a one. So okay. Imperial Knights have the first turn, which is uh, interesting because usually you get a quite a big advantage when you go second in terms of scoring because you are able to score late in the late rounds. Yeah. I will see. Here's the end of my movement phase. Uh, a lot of stuff has happened here. My Helverin from left to right, my Helverin has moved onto that objective and uh, now controls that. Uh, my idea is that the Calibus is not threatening me terribly, I hope. Uh, so I uh, am fine with not shooting her at the moment because I don't see her, uh, but I'll be able to shoot other targets like that unit over there, for example, and control that objective and she cannot outscore me there. So that's how I uh, want to use him now, for now. Uh, my Caldas is still over here waiting to pop and go up into the deep strike at the end of Anna's turn. 
Um, now Paladin and Canyon Strikes have moved forward, before that the Ward Wave has moved forward and now in relatively easy charge from the Wardens, which I'm gonna, before that, probably soften up with my other shooting. We'll see about that. Uh, my Gallant is now performing Deploy Teleport Homer, and the second objective is Tempting Target, and nominated this objective, which was the only one that I couldn't really easily get to. And uh, I had to roll a 3 on the advance from my uh, Halberd. I rolled a 5, uh, so he's not shooting, but at least I will be able to score those victory points. And uh, as I said, Gallant is doing the Deploy Teleport Homer. Uh, the uh, War Glaive over here has moved forward, but as soon as I did that, Anna has reactively moved away. She's a very cunning uh, like that, so I will not be able to probably charge them. It's a 9-inch charge uh, from the War Glaive. I have the reroll from Gallant. Uh, and I have plus one to hit as well, which <laughs> I will or will not be able to use depending on how well I roll on the charge. So 90 charge, re-rollable, we'll see. Um, I'm not sure I really want to charge him into this full squad of custodian guard. Uh, they are now on the objective, which is another bad thing because before they were not, so now Anna would be able to fight first. Uh, she doesn't have the CPs yet though, so now is probably the time to charge them if I can. And uh, the Wardens as well, I will be able to probably get the Ward Wave into them after I put some shoot into them. So that's the idea for my turn now. I want to do quite a lot of damage to Anna to start bringing her bricks down to some manageable sizes. And uh, we'll see how that goes for me. Now the shooting phase. I'm going to start with my Canis Rex going in all guns, which is just my big Laz Impulsor and the small thing with, over here, the Laz thing into the wardens. Uh, I would like to use my 4 plus pain once per game, per game ability. And uh, do you want to do minus 1 damage or not? Because I have Calibus, so I will make sure to use it if you use it now. Mm. If you don't use it minus 1 damage, then um, my gun over here is 4 damage. Uh, my guns over there are d6 plus 2, I think, and or d6 plus 4, I mean. And here it's um, damage 3. So. Yeah, I will use that. Okay, so use minus one damage, uh, which uh, I will use Calidus on that. So for now, it's uh, two command points, which is zero because yes. you have a captain, uh, but all later uses will be plus one uh, cost. Which is one. Which is one if you use it on them, or for any other guys, it's going to be more yeah. because they don't have captains. Okay, so uh, the Canis Rex's gun. So once per turn, I can reroll on that guy, uh, but first we'll start with the tracer shots from my small laser, which is four shots. Wow, that's three extra hits. And uh, the two is also a hit, if I remember correctly. So seven hits, looking good. Uh, now I need fours, um, because I'm not higher strength than uh, their toughness, so I don't suffer their minus one to wound. And I'm not gonna use my reroll here, obviously. So two wounds at AP zero. So two plus saves, good luck enough. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> good start, good start. Uh, uh, but at least it's just one damage, so it's not, not as bad. Uh, four up strikes, please. Yeah. Okay, okay. Bad start, but uh, just get those dice out quick, as quickly as you can and uh, roll well on my high damage stuff. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's the important stuff. So, uh, my Les Impulsor, Chain Break Les Impulsor, high intensity, D6 shots blast. So, uh, Wish me luck, and I hope I roll well. Okay, <laughs> two is not great. I'm probably going to use my free CP reroll here, uh, just to reroll the amount of shots, because I want to have more shots. I think it's worth it. So, uh, um. these... Okay, that's what I get for my audacity. Uh, I'll trying probably, to look smart. What? I'll probably use my Pelotis ability now. Uh, on my command point reroll? Yes. Okay, uh, sure. Okay, I don't like that, <laughs> fine. Uh, so two shots. Okay, at least it, it pops at two extra hits, so I get some back from my from my CP hero. Uh, four shots, I'm gonna wound you on threes because of your minus one to wound. Uh, unfortunately, only two wounds. I am no one, so I cannot reroll it, which is annoying. Uh, your four up saves, one fails, which it's damage three now, so three four up tries. Mm. Maybe I want to. Reroll that? Mm, okay, uh, I'm sure. I'm gonna think about it. Okay. Three film things for us. Good luck. 
Uh, okay, so he dies. That one guy who was wounded, he dies. Okay, let's go. Uh, now, I'll continue. This guy cannot shoot. I'll move away for a second from that squad. I want to shoot this guy. Uh, so he can target with his auto cannons all the way over into that squad because it's like 60 or 70 inch range. Uh, and uh, I will now do that. Uh, and that has nothing to declare as far as I understand. So I yeah. can shoot freely. It's uh, eight shots for his guns. They are strength nine. So they're quite efficient against the stories if I can hit. So <laughs> not a great roll. Well, wow, these dice are betraying me today. I will reroll one, one. One. Uh, and uh, <laughs> that's an awful roll. Uh, two wounds at AP one, because you have no cover. I can see your entire squad from there. Yeah. Okay, that was obno obnoxiously awful. Uh, <laughs> now uh, I will proceed with uh, shooting the other guys. So let's do Paladin now. So Paladin has uh, 2d6 plus 6 shots from his big nasty cannon. So 2d6, the Paladin's guns, all of them are going to Warden. So 2d6 plus 6 shots, that's nice. So oh, yeah. And that's Blast as well. 11 uh, plus 6 is 17, plus one more shot uh, for Blast. It's a 5 man squad. So 18 shots, hitting on 3s, rerolling 1-1. One, one. Not a bad roll. And I also, Paladin has one free reroll per turn, which I'm gonna use here, because where else will I use it? Um, it's either a hit roll or a wound roll, rerolls, so I'll check. Yeah, so it's one hit roll, one wound roll, or one saving roll, so I'll keep that for the wound roll, because it's harder to wound these guys than to hit them. Uh, so I need fours, because they are annoying. Uh, <laughs> so that's a lot of threes and twos, which is, not nice. So five wounds at AP1, so it's three to save against these shots. Good luck. Thank you. One fail, uh, which is damage three, so you need to roll three fours. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, three anti-fly uh, shots from my uh, this gun, this gun over here, uh, Icarus Auto Cannon. Uh, they are twin linked, so I get to reroll wounds. So two wounds at the AP1, damage two. Okay, so two damage. Okay, okay, no damage whatsoever. The entire Paladin, 450 points of him, did nothing to the Wardens. I know they are very much protected by the stuff, but I'm ah, annoyed. Uh, These the, are the dice of victory. Yes, the pink dice of victory. Um, the miniatures dice are just powering up. I'm, I'm, I believe in them. Uh, the uh, war glaive over here is going to put everything he has into them as well. So uh, the melted gun, I'll reroll that one for my knight's ability. Hit. Uh, I need uh, four up to wound. It's a wound. Four up to save. Awesome. And this is within six, so d6 plus so it's uh, eight damage. So one guy will be probably obliterated unless Anna rolls just obnoxiously well. Good luck. Thank you. Okay, he is... Actually, she is just... Uh, this one is cocked, so uh, she will probably roll obnoxiously well. <laughs> yes, she rolled obnoxiously well. That's just <laughs> insane. How many rolls, oh, dice did I'm you roll? I'm so sorry. Um, how, how many dice did eight. you roll? I just can't believe that. Yeah, yeah it's uh, it's uh, it's awful. Yeah. Um, okay. So two damage. Uh, sorry, two damage uh, done to one guy. Which yeah. one is it going to be? Um, no, 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 let me think. Uh, probably this one. Okay. Uh, the uh, two shots from the spear. Uh, one hit. I cannot reroll the other one. Uh, it's a wound. All right. Good luck. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, I know that feels awful. Yes, I'm, I'm sorry. feels weird. <laughs> no worries, you're not, you're not the problem. It's the dice. I, 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 so I bought. You I, really think that the, these dice? I are bought them for you. Strange. No, I, I just think that they're nice dice. They roll nice. Uh, the you know, warglave over here is gonna shoot his stuff into. I don't even know really. Uh, yeah, I'll probably put the guns into those guys, the champion squad. So um, thermal spear. <laughs> Two hits, reroll the one for the knight's ability. Two hits and two wounds. 
no wounds, but we roll the one. Uh, it is a wound, I think. Uh, how can you reroll one twice? I reroll one one to wound and one one to hit. Really? And one one to hit. Yes, it's the knight's uh, ability. I They're... thought it's either. No, no, no. Most of them are or. This one is and. Wow. Yeah, so this one was uh, a two plus two wounds, so you owe me one four up invulnerable save. And I'm also in melt range because I'm within nine of you. So it's, it's a fail. One. Uh, it's a lot of damage. One guy is dead. You, do, you don't have a film thing. Oh, oh, yeah. Those are not wardens. No problem. One guy is dead. One guy you're choosing. Uh, I've pre measured, so the Blade Champion is exactly the same distance from me as this guy, so it doesn't matter who yeah, and removes. Yeah, I understand. You can remove a spear or you can remove a shield, because shields are worse in combat, so it's up to you. Uh, whilst I'm continuing. Okay, so one guy from that squad over there is dead. This shooting phase was strange, unusual. This guy is not <laughs> oh, gonna yeah. shoot. Uh, he. Oh, he can actually shoot. No, he can because he uh, is. Oh, he cannot, yeah. Deploy, yeah. deploy teleport homers. Yeah. Okay. So he advanced, he deploys his deploying teleport homers. Everyone else has shot. So we are now going to charge. First, I'm going to charge this guy just because it doesn't really matter. I need a nine over there. So nine inch charge, re rollable. It's an eight. It's definitely not an eight to reach them. So I need a nine. No. So uh -huh. that. Doesn't go. Now the second charge over here. I don't know how long that is. Should be five or six. Okay. Uh, double one. I'm gonna spend my last CP to. You can't. I can't because Anna has increased the cost. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Anna. Okay, so my turn has completely utterly failed. That yeah, was that's, that's miserable. Awful. Yeah. I hope I hope that. I'm not incorrect in that Caldus can actually modify the CP reroll cost. I tried googling that as much as I could and checking all the FAQs. I don't see any restriction for that there because it's a battle tactic strategy, and um, I think you can do that. Correct me if I'm wrong. So that's why I've now suffered that fate, and I have nothing to do here. <laughs> that's just uh, okay. I yeah. I, think... I will buy you a box of one hundred. Perfect wife, thank you. Uh, <laughs> so let's continue into Anna's turn. At least I scored uh, well enough uh, on my secondary cards. So tempting target and deploy teleport Homer both uh, successfully completed. Oh yeah, and I must. Uh, and take Anna this is removing her Caldas, of course. Yeah, because she has nothing to do there unless she wanted to charge my Aldrin. <laughs> Uh, well, it's not. You can actually, if you believe that, you can actually physically kill him with your shooting and melee. It's just unlikely, but you. But you I could. can think about it. And... Yes, you can come. Uh, you could otherwise have charged more easily. Oh me. yeah, of course I should be. I, I always. I think you're always better off picking up Caldas yeah. because you never know what you're gonna get in your cards. That was my turn, as it was. Now we'll move on into Anna's turn and see how well she can respond. Here we are at the end of Anna's movement phase. <laughs> this is what I call an annihilation turn. Uh, Anna, what did you draw? Uh, I've drawn Deploy Teleport Homer and Area Denial. Area Denial, okay. So, yeah. good missions, uh, pretty much. That's Tell us what happened here. Why there are so many Custodes so close to my knights and... Um, yeah, first of all, Caladus. Caladus is here. <laughs> yep. Uh, she's going to perform Deploy Teleport Homer. Okay, yeah. Uh, um, what else is happening? Uh, Sisters stay these stationary. These custodian guards, they advanced. Advanced, and you're gonna use your once per game yes. advance and charge. These custodian guards advanced as, as well. well. They rolled a six, those guys rolled a five. They didn't even have to re-roll. They just, they're like, okay, now we're gonna go and kill those bastards. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Alaris guys decided to come out of the closet. <laughs> <laughs> They've disembarked. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, Wardens, uh, that's in interesting because I... Um, You've resurrected the guy? Yes, and I put him in into front of the squad. Inches. Yes, so I have... Uh, uh, a very short charge. Yes, very to, short, like to probably the three, yeah. Like a three inch charge, mm. <laughs> thanks to that resurrection. So, and I used the very sneaky maneuver there to make the charge easier. So it looks like I'm gonna lose a lot of knights this turn. Uh, we'll see how many. Now you're gonna shoot me, right? Yes. Where are you starting? I think I will shoot everything at your canvas race. Okay, so go ahead. Uh, what are you starting with? Um, probably my blood Okay, go yeah. ahead. Four last cannon shots. You starting with them? Yeah. Okay, sure. Uh, I 
actually not gonna uh, use anything. Yep, so I'm not gonna rotate iron shields here. Go ahead, roll your four last can shots. Good luck. Thank you. All hit. They're hitting on twos, thankfully. There are no minuses. And the four is two wounds, so... Two. Two wounds. Five ups. One pass, one fail. So, nice. Uh, D6 plus one damage. Uh, two plus one, three damage, four up, sorry, six up strikes. Uh, no. So uh, he's down to 19 wounds. Okay, so now the heavy bolters from the land yeah. reader, three shots. Hitting on twos. Okay. Oh. No sustain, so one hit and uh, five, uh, six is re rolling. Re rolling mm -hmm. twin linked. Re roll the, the dice with twin link. Uh, no. Not a six. Okay. And do you have a hunter killer missile, yes. which you probably will use it now? Will you? Yes, oh, of okay. course. <laughs> I, I thought you, you were not sure. Uh, go ahead. Two plus. Okay. That's so a... you see? Now we have like this. Uh -huh. We'll see what happens in the fight phase. <laughs> let's let's wait until your turn has finished. Uh, so. Uh, now I'll probably continue with my custodian guard. Yeah, yeah go squad. ahead. Yeah, sure. Uh, so I have four guys there. Plus mm. Blade Champion. Yeah, so Blade Champion doesn't shoot, so yes. four. So four, four guys, guys shooting eight shots into my cannon strikes. Yeah. Okay. And they have. Thank uh, you cover. Yeah, they have reroll on wounds. Yeah, you can reroll your wound roll. And you're hitting on twos. Are you going to shoot them twice? Uh, yes. Okay, so you can probably roll 16 dice now to make it faster. Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and six is two ones. Rerolling. Four. Four. So uh, threes, all passed. Cool. Okay. And now and eight more. Another, shots. yeah, another eight. Okay. You're hitting on twos. Moon and sixes. Two, and now we roll the moon roll. Calculate all these. Four again. Maybe some more nice rolls. Yeah, so just one failed. Uh, rolled three sixes in style and uh, six up shrugs. No. So uh, 19 goes down to 17 wounds. Now that squad over there is going to yeah. repeat the same thing. They're just a five-man squad instead of a... Well, actually, six-man squad, five guys are shooting. And four of them are in range of cannon strikes. So uh, eight shots again. Yeah, but I'll probably roll all 16. Yeah, go ahead. It's, it doesn't matter. If you want to use the should double now you can do it now the only reason is that those guys don't have the full reel to moon now so you may want if you want to wait until they are on the objective to get full efficiency from the double volley no i'm afraid that i will die somewhere uh i'm not sure where that confidence in imperial knights comes from <laughs> uh, but okay we'll we'll let and i believe that okay so twos to hit um... oh hit but one Yes. And uh, sixes to wound. One. And one reroll. Ah, reroll over one, yes. Forgot. Okay, so two, three plus, fine. We're fine. Okay, cool. and uh, the guy with the, the guy with yeah, he shoots four times because he also shoots. Oh yeah, twice. sure. Ah, uh, in the world wave. Yes. World wave. Yes. Uh, oh hit, and you need sixes still. And no reroll, so and that's a four up save because he's not in cover. So two damage done to ward wave, uh six up strikes, one fast, so one wound taken on him. Okay, so now six d6 shots from the ballistas grenade launchers from those nice looking Alaris guys. So they are now right in front of the any spec. So six d6 shots uh with strength four AP1, but full rerolls to wound. Good luck. Thank you. Okay, so that's 10, 17, uh, plus 5. 22 shots. Okay, so 22 shots. Hitting on twos. That's good. Uh, I see four. No, oh, three ones. Yeah. Three ones. Uh, and six is two. With full reels. Candy Strax is hearing all the flink, flink, flink shots. Thump, thump. Across uh, his night. Three for now. Sir Hector is uh, very worried about his uh, loyal steed. Um, so, four? 
five? Mm, five. Okay, five, uh, three plus saves again. That's not great. Two, three fails. Three fails, uh, which is three fails. So 17 goes down to 14 wounds. And the, they're dwindling. Our wounds are dwindling. That's not great. So 12 shots from the spears. Yes. These are probably a bit more dangerous to me because they damage too. So every fail is more valuable. All hit? Oh, all but one. And wounds in on six three rolls. I'm glad that uh, the Castorius at least don't have lethal hits or something like that on their guns. That would be devastating for the knights. Uh, so two wounds. Okay. Two wounds. Okay, two passes. Cool. That was good. Uh, wardens. Yes, wardens, where are they gonna shoot? The same target? Of course. <laughs> Okay, uh, uh, so that's just 6 uh, times 2, 12 shots, because the captain also has a spear. That's what I call dice paralysis. It's when you're looking at the dice and you're like, is it yes, 12? Is it 65? Yes, exactly. Is it, is it a limitless amount? And 6 hits. No rerolls this time. Okay, no wounds. <laughs> uh, yep, uh, so shooting at him would not be more efficient, because he is also toughness 10, so not... It's, it's, it's a good idea to shoot at him. Just That's what you get when you're shooting at something that is six is two. Mm -hmm. uh, so, everyone shot? Yeah. Uh, your cow is not going to shoot because it's doing an action. Sisters don't see anyone. So, now charge. Where are you going to charge? So, charge phase. Uh, who's yeah. charging first? These guys. Okay, they're into charging. this world wave. Only in the world wave. Yes. Sure, okay. Uh, char roll the charge. So, it's an yeah. eight, okay. Um, yeah, we'll move them in later, don't worry. Uh, let's continue okay, on to the yeah. other charges. Um, um, wardens. The Wardens, they need a three. Yes. Don't roll two ones. Or roll two ones if you want to make me happy. You do. <laughs> no, apparently, thank you. apparently not. Uh, so, um, 10 inch charge. Again, we'll move them in later. Yes. Uh, let's continue with other charges. So, the Blade Champion and uh, the Alars. So, where are they going to charge? I just I need to remember how much I rolled. Yeah, ten. So we can we can check the course. Okay. Um, uh, Alaris guys are going into your. Can you yes. Okay, so you need we pre-measured. You need a six, six. right? Yeah. Good luck. Thank you. Seven, yeah, seven. is enough. Uh, and now we will move everything in, and we'll see about the last charge. The last charge, we've moved everyone in. So Lars here, the Warden's over here. It's completely surrounding my knights over there as well. And the last charge of the Castellan Guard squad into the Canyon Strikes as well. There's a small gap over here which they can feed through. And also they can move through the wall and stand up on this side, depending on how well... Yeah, and I have well a reroll. Yeah, rolls. And you have a free roll charge roll, so good luck. Eight. Eight. It's good. Um... I think it's good. You don't have, don't need to reroll. It's one above average, so you are more likely to worsen the result. Than yeah, I, I agree. Okay, so we'll move them in, and we'll see you in the fight phase. So now this horrible charge phase has uh, finished. Kai Strix has uh, too many things uh, trying to kill him. Uh, <laughs> the two war glaives are also engaged. This war glaive is also engaged by Lars because, and I had to declare him in order to uh, surround the Kai Strix efficiently. So uh, where are you going to start? I have two uh, command points, so I can interrupt. There's at least something I can do before my knights die. So, uh, where, what are you going to do? Well, uh, firstly, I need to uh, choose my kata. Choose your fighter. <laughs> yes. <laughs> choose and, your kata. Uh, what is it going to be? Yeah, with wardens, it's pretty simple because I will activate my ability to... Once per game, three yeah. katas from the captain. Okay, but what is going to be your main... But actually, no. You know what? I'm not sure because... Because Helverin is not a threat to me. Oh yes, you can, you can, yeah, you can pretty much just take two offensive cutters, and that's going to be enough. Yes. Yeah. yes. Uh, keep that ability for a later yes. turn. Yes. Uh, but what about your main cutter for the for the uh, um, army? Lethal hits, sustained hits, or minus one hit? Probably sustained hits. Well, no, if you're... no, not no, 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 yeah. no, lethal hits. Lethal yeah, hits. Because, yeah, because that's smart. Yeah. Because yeah. the high toughness. Yeah. Yes. Um, and you probably don't need extra defense because we'll see how many units I have after you're done fighting me. So that's yeah. wise, probably. Where are you going to start? That's the real question. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
Definitely, we'll definitely not oh, here. Not here. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I think it should be it should be somewhere closer to this area. But yes, probably somewhere here. Somewhere here, yeah. Maybe yeah. maybe one of these two units. Yeah. Uh, probably I'll start with my alars. Okay, so they are the alars and the custodian guard are pretty much the same thing. What do you uh, mean the, the same thing? Uh, like Alaris, are, they are tough no, they, and they, they big are the and same. The, the powerful. What do you mean they're the, the same? Because they are also powerful. They, they all have five attacks each. The difference here is that they both have five attacks each. They both have full reroll to wound now do because you your guys are on the objective. Do you see how different they are? They, they look different, but they fight very similarly but, because but, they're all custodians. But uh, Alaris, they're... Like, yeah, they are. I know. Yeah, they're they're but, big and mighty. And, yeah. But they should be in more terms of the fight powerful. Phase, I agree, yeah. But they also have this nice rule allowing them to reroll wound rolls always and these guys can only do that when they are motivated by the objective nearby so that's the difference uh the difference really here is that that's a five-man squad is it a five-man no it's a four-man squad yeah and uh four-man squad with one shield right there's a, still a shield there yes so yeah so it definitely fights worse than a six-man alaris squad even yeah. with considering that there is a blade champion in the squad yeah i would say that probably six-man alaris are better so starting with them would be more mm -hmm. would be wiser so yeah 30 attacks it is <sighs> okay so anna has 30 dice in her hands and no she... I, actually i have 24 i need 24. six more oh, okay <laughs> <Could> you, please <laughs> uh, yes that's me six dice. yeah so here is four more and two more so you decided to use players of nightmares for one yes. cp right yes. so obviously one uh, a plus one to wound is very important here uh you also need to consolidate we'll do that next I meant piling, of course. <laughs> I was piling, and we uh, discovered that one guy cannot actually reach counter strikes because he must pile in into the closest model, which yeah. is the Warglaive. But that was unavoidable yeah. in this situation. That's so, very disappointing. Yeah, so five less attacks, but you still are very likely to kill. So good luck to you. Yeah. I think so, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So, uh, do you have all the dice? Yeah, yeah, it's just my hands are. Twenty-four just like... hours later. <laughs> Go ahead, twos to hit. Uh, and I need to remember about lethal. Yeah. Oh yeah, lethal hits as well. My God. Uh, sixes. Looking for sixes. That's a, a six, good roll. Six. Six. Uh, six. Four. So it's seven sixes, right? Uh, six. No. Yeah, seven. Seven and uh, ones are not hits. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't, don't go too fast. Okay, so you rolled once, um, less once than you rolled sixes, so it's already a good roll. And uh, this is a four plus to wound with full rerolls. <laughs> Those custodies are just nasty. And reroll all the ones, twos, and threes. Okay. Okay, so uh, only three dice have ultimately not wounded me uh i will now do the save roll <laughs> i'm just I'm, I'm processing how many wounds i 18. have to take 18 my goodness oh 18 saves of five plus i think i'm dead <laughs> yeah i'm most likely dead. this is is this twice in six plus four more things Lucky. so i've already taken enough i think so Oh no, that, that's, I've taken 12, so I have two wounds remaining. I'm dead. Uh, so I think I have a two plus, a two command point strategy to fight on death, which I'm definitely using now if I have that and I can use it. So I'm gonna be using Valiant Last Stand for two command points. It's now two command points after the FAQ. Uh, and I'm gonna fight on death with my Cadence Rex. Uh, so at least I think I can do that uh, because it's not the Sir Hector model, so I think I can do it. And then after that, the uh, Sir Hector will disembark. So um, five attacks with my ten attacks, sorry, with my freedom hand, uh, which is perfect for killing guys here. Good I'm gonna, luck. yeah, I'm gonna. Thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna target this squad over here uh, because they are. I'm more efficient against them with my damage three. So. Well, wish me luck, thank you, Anna. And uh, I need threes to hit because I'm at the lowest degradation, which is only one in current game. Um, so three misses, but I've rolled very well on the hit roll. So it's actually three, it's actually six extra hits. So 
that's all hit. And I wound you on threes. Uh... Oh, that's good. Yes. Uh, I wound you on threes, yeah, because I'm tough, I'm strength 10, yeah. So, just one try. Nine? Yeah, so uh, nine. Yep, nine saves at AP two, damage three. Uh, and I will check if I can, wait, I, I check if I can use uh, a stratagem here. I can probably, yeah, once per turn, you can target this model with a stratagem for zero CP. I can use that on my uh, command point reroll for zero CP, I guess. Or no, I would, no. I'll, because it would now cost you my, me yeah. one CP. One. Yeah, so I cannot do it. Yep, so go ahead. Good luck. Thank you. So uh, you failed four saves, which means that four guys are gonna die, or you can take tank two wounds on the shield, and then kill two more guys mm -hmm. from that squad. You probably want to do that if you want to keep as many models alive. Yeah, as possible. of course. So do you have still a shield there, right? In this squad. Um. Yeah. I yes. Think yes. You did not. You killed the spear. You said yeah, you killed yeah. the spear. Okay. So you've lost three guys now: uh, shield and two spears. That's not bad. Not bad, that's at least something back from the Canis Rex. He was not efficient in this game. After I fought, do I explode? No, I don't explode. And now, uh, does Canis Rex suffer a, a wound for disembarking? He doesn't. So he will disembark three inches away from the knight over here in the building. And uh, he'll try to hold on to his dear life and uh, preserve the machine spirit of his valiant knight for him to be repaired later and used in battle again. Uh, now Anna will consolidate with the squad of the Estonian Guard um, and will fight. No. Continue to fight. And ah, you also need to yes. fight with the LRS. Yes. Okay, so fight with the LRS. We, we, didn't, we did it out of sync a little, yeah. a little bit. Uh, so five attacks into the... Uh, and this one with equal hit, yes. Uh, and uh, you need five still. And we, oh no, fours actually. You used plus one to wound on them, yes. Okay. So four, four. wounds. Uh, four wounds. Five up saves. No, that's not bad. So only four damage. Uh, only two damage actually. With wow. Thing. So uh, he is pretty fine there. Uh, now the consolidation. So uh, the guys decided not to consolidate because they would have to pile in into this guy would have to pile in into uh, the war glaive and be within engagement range. So Anna decided not to do it because she's already on the objective. She doesn't have to. So that's uh, how she decided to do it here. Where are you fighting next? Over here? Wardens? Uh, no, here. Over there. Okay, sure. Uh, so, so 25 attacks? Yeah. Well, you have to roll the shield, uh, the one shield separately because uh, profile is different. So 20 hits, 20, well, it maybe hits, but uh, 20 attacks with the spears from that squad, then the shield, and then the blade champion. Yeah. So hitting on twos, uh, five. Once. Uh, no, sixes. no sixes. Okay, not not the best of rolls, but believe me, uh, you will probably st it will probably still be enough. Uh, no sixes, so you need fives here, but you have four rerolls because one guy is touching the objective, so they are all very motivated defenders of the realm. Uh, so, oh, you see those crunching the fingers? She's <sighs> ready to fight. <laughs> fives, you need fives here because no plus one to, and those reroll those. Huh? Okay, uh, oh, that's a lot. How many dice is that? Uh, it's nine. Nine, okay, so is that nine? Four? No, that's eight. Uh, so nine, uh, five up saves. Boom, boom, boom. So three passed, three, uh, these all failed. Uh, looks like I'm gonna die here. We'll see. Uh, so taking six and taken 11 in total, so that's a dead war wave. Does he explode? He does not. Uh, so that was a quick and easy job by the Stingard squad. They're gonna consolidate again, and uh, we'll move on to Wardens. Probably the same story here. Yeah. So again, not consolidating there because she would have to go in and fight the Gallon then, and Gallon would smack them. They would like to, but no thank you, they said. And uh, now the Wardens. You have a similar story here, so 25 attacks from the guys and plus 7 from the leader, so 32 attacks from your squad. 32 attacks, hitting on twos with sustained hits and lethal hits. Good luck. Thank you. Okay, so all of this, two wounds. Very helpful. <laughs> Five, two wounds. But no rerolls here, so... 
Uh, maybe we have a chance, but probably not. Okay, so how many is that? Uh, six plus five, uh, eleven. Eleven, okay. I have eleven dice here. Five, fives to save. Okay, so I've passed three. So this, twice. Not bad. Okay, so I've passed three. I've taken five. And passed one more. So yeah, it's exactly enough to kill him to kill the fresh for uh, hell drain. unfortunately he is dead as well does he explode this was, this was not <laughs> yes he does at least this was not the turn when anna drawn bring it down because that would be very unpleasant um so six inches from over here will probably not reach yeah it will not reach the other squad so just d3 mortals into the wardens three mortal wounds four up shrugs wow Oh, you have a four-up shrug, Anna. You've passed them all before, so don't worry. Yeah. Yeah, you passed two, uh, uh, three. Actually, one warden died. Okay, one warden died. That's nice. I have lost Canis Rex and uh, one, two, Elvrains. So, Warglaves, Armagers. Um, okay, so that was the turn. Yeah. <laughs> did you? What did you do in terms of scoring? Uh, Deploy teleport home over here. Yes, and okay. I will. Um, did you get, get the, uh, the I will air get denial? rid of air denial. Ah, so you did not score it. Uh, yeah, I did not, and uh, I will get rid of it, in, in, so I could uh, get a CP. Yes, I'm, no I'm hungry, so I'm stupid. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> okay, so now my turn. Sorry, I forgot to fight with my warglave over here. That that might, that may be important. Uh, so I think it's five attacks. Check. Four attacks, uh, three hits, and wounds in you on threes. So three wounds at AP a lot. So four up in the save. Okay, so one Alaris is gonna bite the dust. This one is fine. Um, yeah. Sure. Okay. So uh, that was a, a pleasant fight back. Uh, and now uh, continue into my turn. So here is my turn. I've drawn a cleanse and no prisoners, so I need to do an action on the objective, so-called action. I've uh, deployed my Caldas over there, so she will be doing that. The Armager has stay, stayed over there because I want to shoot at that squad. I'm fine with this position now. Uh, Gallant is pretty much in the same spot. I'm just going to charge that squad over there. Paladin has moved slightly forward. He's going to charge the Alaris, probably. Um, and. Uh, I'm gonna be, yeah, probably them. And uh, I'm gonna be shooting stuff in here. Uh, he stayed in combat for the same reason. So that's pretty much what I'm gonna be doing uh, with the movement and shooting. So that's, now let's shoot. I'm gonna start with this guy over there. So he will be uh, putting his eight shots into the big Castilian Guard squad. And we'll see <laughs> if he can do better than last time. Uh, threes to hit. No, he decided not to do it better than last time. He thinks he last cares. time was just fine. Just fine. Uh, so, are you on 1-1? One, one. Three, four hits. Okay. Uh, are you on 1-1? One, one. Three wounds. So, uh, three wounds at 81. You are not in cover for me now, so threes to save. Awesome, good job. Well done, Helvern. Okay, now he's gonna shoot all of his guns into the uh, Alaris that he's in combat with. I don't think the, yeah, the spear is not blast anymore, so I can just target them freely. So, uh, melt a gun, hitting on the four up. No, it doesn't hit. And uh, two shots from the spear, two hits. And uh, I need threes here to wound because uh, they are two seven. We rolled one, one. So one AP four, save on the Alaris or death. Not death. Uh, the the rockets over here, uh, I'm gonna put them into the squad. So, three shots from the rockets, two ones, I'm gonna reroll one one, two hits, and threes to wound. Uh, one reroll one, so two wounds at AP2. Good luck. Thank you. Okay, um, I'm melting on, I think, yeah, I have melting on him. Good luck. Thank you. you too. Uh, no wounds. Okay, uh, <laughs> this guy, the last model I have to shoot. 
Um, so his uh, rapid fire bad luck cannon uh, will go into the wardens because they're not no longer protected by stuff. So two uh, d six plus six shots. Seven plus six is uh, thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah. Yes. Uh, five thirteen and plus one because it's blessed. So five minutes squad. Twos don't hit. Good roll. And force to wound because you are my son to wounds. Three on one. Okay. Uh, looks better than it is because threes don't wound. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, seven. Uh, seven wounds at AP one. So you are not in cover, thankfully. So it's threes. <laughs> Good luck. Okay. Two fail. So two wardens dead. Yeah. And uh, three Icarus cannon shots. Um, yeah, two hits. Did I reroll one one? I think so. I'll check. Yeah, so I did not reroll the one on his roll, so I can. Three hits. I need that to wound, so. Uh, it, three? It, yeah, three wounds at 81. Good luck. <laughs> Thank you. It seems to be working when I say. Uh, yeah, but I'm sorry that I'm not saying that because I'm hungry and stupid and I don't want to don't interrupt worry. I, I your know you're, you're wishing me good luck anyway. So, four damage suffered by a guy, so he dies. Okay. Uh, Does he die? Yeah, which one? This guy, probably, because you don't want to kill a banner, right? Yeah, of course. Uh, and lastly, the melted gun from the Paladin as well. Does he hit? Yes. Does he wound? Yes. No, it doesn't. Because uh, my son told Okay, so uh, that shooting was mm, okay. Uh, now the charge roll. So Gallant is going to charge the guys. He did. So he's going to do that. Um, I'm going to think about Tank Shock uh, in a second. And the Paladin is going to charge the Lars. Yeah, so he will do that. Probably. That. Uh, okay. Two things has, have happened here. Anna has used her free heroic intervention with the three-man squad of Estonian Guard and engaged my Gallant. And also she used the 2CP stratagem for fight first. That's why she did not use the uh, stratagem to have minus one damage on the Wardens because otherwise she would have mm -hmm. spent one CP there and then would not be able to uh, use that 2CP stratagem. Yeah, so, unfortunately my Alaris guys can't uh, Yes, they cannot uh, file in fully. Only yeah. two guys can fight the Paladin, so she has to use it there. But there is still good, because yes, Galant mm -hmm. is minus one to hit in combat. But those are custodies. They they will do a lot of, da a lot of damage to me. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you fight there first, uh, you can start anywhere you want, but it's uh, still a 5 and squad. So 20 attacks with spears yeah. and 5 attacks with shield and 5 attacks with the blade champion. Okay, so 20 dice, uh, hitting on threes, because I am uh, a very melee knight. Okay, so... And you, which kata are you using? You have to select. Um, oh, you should have done that before the roll, but we'll, yeah, we'll but that. probably I would choose uh, the defensive one. Hit. one. Makes yeah. sense, yeah, okay. So sixes don't do anything here. Um, and now you need... Five to wound me with rerolls. Three rolls. You, I see three wounds now. Just take all of the dice and leave three. You don't have to specifically take out the dice that have the correct value on them. You can just nominate three and take the other ones. <laughs> she doesn't like when I correct her. Okay. <laughs> Good luck. Uh, so six uh, wounds in total. Correct. Yeah. Six wounds. So. Uh, Fives to save. That's 10 damage. And we are not honored yet because we did not kill the Warlord. Uh, so, 10 damage. I need. I want a lot of sixes. Can I please get some sixes for the Omnisaya? No sixes for me. Thank you. I have 12 wounds remaining on it. Uh, and now I can finally strike against your unions. I will probably now put all of my attacks into your small squad uh, because they didn't fight yet and that would be a wiser choice. Uh, but I'll do it later. I'll, I'll first fight over here. I think it's, it doesn't matter. Really. So eight attacks with the Paladin against the Alars. Uh, sixes don't do anything, twos don't hit, and threes don't hit actually. Um, and I will, yeah, I'll keep the reroll uh, that he has uh, for the wound roll probably. So yes, I, uh, I actually don't need to use it here. I'll use it on the save if uh, I 
fail safe. So five wounds at AP2. From the Paladin into the Alars, the damage three, but the wound wound for wound models. Okay, so two Alars are dead, uh, unless you want to reroll. You don't have to see me. Yeah. So two Alars are gonna die. Which ones are you gonna remove? Um. Depends on what you're gonna do. Okay, so she removed two LRs over here and I've consolidated into this back into the fight. Um, now I'm gonna fight with the big Gallant. So Gallant has 12 attacks, hitting on twos, which is threes against them now. Um, that's a good question, actually, where I do want to fight, because it's only three guys left in that squad. <sighs> yeah, logic suggests that I should kill the squad that didn't fight against me. But Greed says that uh, there's a chance for me to kill more models if I put the attacks over there, because te technically I should hit eight times and wound like seven with reroll. So, uh, yeah, um, I'll, yeah, I'll do the right thing. I'll attack the, the small squad. So, uh, three is to hit. Reroll and one, one for the knight's ability. Okay, so I've missed twice by the looks of it. Yeah, uh, and I'm wounding you on threes. Rerolling one, one. Okay, not a good roll, very bad roll actually. Uh, I was wounding on threes. No, not very bad. Slightly above, above, below average. So five wounds at AP two. So four ups. Your squad. So you've only failed two, which means you just killed two uh, custodian guard and uh, blade champion is alive. Mm -hmm. Okay, not terrible. Now you fight with your Lars against me. You probably want to fight against the Warglaive, I assume. Yeah. <laughs> that attack's hitting on twos against my Warglaive over here. So, two ones, three ones. And wounding on fives with full rerolls because he's a vehicle. Um, okay, that's a good roll. Three more. Yes, by three more, <laughs> I meant three more. Uh, <laughs> so seven wounds. Good luck. Thank you. Um, yeah, that didn't help. <laughs> so uh, this, uh, he has two wounds already, so he suffered four. He has six left. Okay, so he has two wounds left. At least he's alive. That's nice. Um, yeah, I didn't expect that. Okay, so uh, he's alive. Now I'm gonna fight back against you. I have a full reels to hit because I put my bondsman from Gallant on, onto him. So in the command phase. So I'm gonna reroll these twos. Okay, so uh, I didn't help <laughs> because I'm minus one to hit from the cutter. Uh, two wound, I need threes. That's a one which I can reroll. Yes, so two wounds. Please fail them both, Anna. Be a nice. Uh, partner in the game. No. Uh, you don't have any wounded Alaris, so Alaris takes three wounds and survives. Yes. Uh, and uh, now uh, that's my turn. So I have successfully killed uh, no units. No, I killed one. I killed the attached unit with the blade champion. Um, yeah, I did not kill that. I did not kill anything there. Yes, yeah, so that's I need the only to. I need to fight thing. with my blade champion. Oh yes, yes. Uh, we'll fight with him. And also, I did cleanse for three points over there with my Caldas. That's the oh, everything I get for my turn here. Uh, blade champion, five attacks probably. You want to use the damage three profile, I think. Uh, so, and he still has the. No, he he doesn't have any cutters to help him. So five four hits. And he does not reroll wounds now because he doesn't have a squad with him. So uh, only one wound because he's okay. strength five or six, so not not five. Um, so he takes three wounds. Um, he was also minus one to hit, so we'll check the footage. Yeah, so Gallon took all three wounds because Anna did hit with fives and sixes, so the minus one to hit didn't matter. Just forgot about the first thing. Okay, so that was my turn. Uh, I'm not gonna comment on how well it went. I think you saw you saw how it went. How it went. So uh, we'll see you in Anna's turn. So this is the end of Anna's movement phase, uh, battle round two. Correct? Is that two? Uh, I think it yeah, is. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I think it is. Uh, Anna scored five victory points for controlling one no and objective, which was this one, and uh, then she moved with the land raider to secure this objective. Yeah, right? and also Kaladus is. Kaladus is also here because there was yeah. nothing to really do with her. Because what cards did you draw? 
uh, storm hostile objective and bring it down. Yeah, so she cannot storm the hostile objective with the Calidus anywhere because there there's too much OC to for her and she cannot cannot deploy there even. Mm -hmm. And uh, the only actual objective that I control that she can uh, recapture is this one unless she wants to go that way, which she decided not to. So uh, what else happened here? Uh, my Blade Champion fell back. Blade Champion fell back, he can yeah. also still charge because of the enhancement. I'm trying to kill your Paladin because I need to... Um, bring something bring, down. Yeah, I need to do bring it down. And you've also resurrected an Alaris. Yes, I also resurrected So you Alaris. spend your only CP you yes, have this exactly. round. I am on two command points, so that's where everything is currently. Uh, yeah, so now the shooting phase. Please yes. go ahead and shoot. Or you're shooting him into yes. the... Okay, so yes, you're minus one hit. Yeah. Because I'm, uh, you're shooting at the thing in combat. Yeah, of course. Uh... Okay, so three hits and uh, fours. Mm, mm -hmm. No wounds. Okay, uh, three heavy bolters. Uh, all hit, one mm -hmm. extra hit. And uh, wow, not bad. Uh, one wound, one wound. And yeah, one wound. Reroll the three other ones. You have twin link, remember? You, oh, you have yeah? Full, yeah, yeah, you have full rerolls on the heavy bolter. It has two muzzles, so that's why you get rerolls. Wow. 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 I don't like that. Uh, I don't have cover here, so it's fours safe. So I take I two two wounds here. and uh, six up to ignore. No. So two wounds taken from the heavy bolter, and uh, whilst we're here, we roll those four shots from the st storm bolter. Maybe that's going to be the uh, going to spell doom for my dog. Four shots hitting on okay, uh, that and wounding on that again. Sixes. Okay, so one three plus save. You see, you see. <laughs> Uh, so uh, six up. Okay, I've ignored that. That was just uh, that was just pathetic. If I suffered the damage from the storm bolter. So uh, that was the, the shoot on the land raider. Now the wardens yeah. can shoot. Yes. So four shots, uh, hitting on twos. Oh, hit wounding on sixes. Why twos? Threes. Uh, yes. Yeah, sorry. Minus yeah, one. minus one hit. Yes, my, my bad. And uh, one. one wound. Four up. Yes. Okay. Uh, what else can shoot? I don't uh, think any, anything else can shoot. Maybe blade champion? Uh, no, they don't have any guns. They only have blades, as they are blade champions. Yeah, <laughs> makes sense. <laughs> makes sense. Um, nothing so else, I think. can they shoot in combat? No, they cannot shoot into combat because they don't have big guns and avatars. So. Okay, so yeah. Yeah, that's the only shooting you have, I think. Yeah, the Kel is inside the building, right? So yes. I cannot see her if you cannot see me. So yeah, yeah she cannot shoot as well. Fine, so now you do the charges. Uh, I didn't have any overwatches to declare, at least I don't think so. No, I couldn't. Uh, so, uh, Blade Champion. Go ahead. Yeah, Blade Champion. Double one, you can reroll re that if you want to. He, he has rerolls. Uh, yeah, but I think it's... You don't need to. He, yeah. He's already in. Uh, Just, yeah. yeah. I think his ability is not only when he's leading the squad. It may be, but it doesn't yeah, but it matter. it doesn't matter because... He was it's still in changed. on the two, on the double one. Uh, Wardens. Wardens, yes, also um, automatically in. Yeah. So we'll just move them in like that. And uh, anyone else? No. No. I don't think so. So first you fight with one unit of your choosing uh, that that just charge. So it's either the blade champion or two wardens. And then I will think about my two command points. I don't know what what Anna. Anna, what do you think I'm gonna do with two command points? What do you think? Is there anything interesting that I can do with two command points here in this situation ah. with a lot of he units to fight. Maybe this Gallant will think something up. No, he actually doesn't even need to because he will fight first anyways. Yeah. yeah. And you don't have a fight first, so yeah, it's an awesome situation. Yeah, that's a bad situation. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, you just have to just decide which squad is going to hit harder. I think, if you want my opinion, I think the two-man squad will probably do more damage. Yeah, of course, but it's just... I don't want to lose Blade Champion. Yes, but uh, you will not lose him now, probably, because I'm I'm more likely to interrupt elsewhere. Just a hint. And I'm not probably gonna not gonna target him now, so you will probably have the chance to fight with him anyway. So just pick the unit that has most damage available. Yeah, but also. So of twelve attacks from the, these two models over here, and Anna is using the ones yeah. per game all cutters. All the cutters. All the cutters. So cutters. she wants to roll all them sixes. Uh, yeah. Twelve attacks. Go ahead. And I'm thinking about cutter in general. Oh, okay. Um, Your general cutter. 
probably you want to save as many guys as you can, right? Yes, but at the same time, I need to kill Paladin. But you are now in more compromised situation because I'm gonna fight with him, and then uh, this guy will probably also have a chance to fight. So, I yeah. think minus one hit. Yeah. I'll okay. Be right. Thank you. Uh, so, uh, go attack, hitting on twos. Yeah, twos. Against him is twos. No, this is ten. I need <laughs> two more. Yes. You're gonna rob yourself from attacks. Uh, two sixes, that's good. So uh, add those two back into the uh, pile. Yes. And these two are all automatically wounds. And uh, fives with no rerolls. Okay, so four wounds. Um, I need fives. And I'm gonna reroll one uh, saving throw here for free because I'm a paladin. So I have that ability. That's great. So I've uh, suffered four damage. Feel no pains. So I've suffered three damage actually. So three wounds down on my paladin. And now I'll think about interrupts and stuff. So uh, after thinking, I decided that I need to interrupt because now one fight first unit has fought, and then I will interrupt. And then Anna has to fight with her fight first, the second fight first unit, and then fight normally units go. So. And as fight normally is fight first the unit that it, whose turn is not now fights whatever you you got what I'm saying uh, it's gonna be gallant so the out of these two guys it's gonna be gallant or I can choose wardway but it's my turn to choose again so it's wise for me to interrupt now as far as I understand the rules I think that is how it's supposed to be played so eight attacks from my um, uh, paladin into the ward, um, the LRs. So, it attacks hitting on threes. Sorry, hitting on uh, fours because you're minus one to hit. I reroll in one, one. So, four hits. And wounding you on threes again. Reroll in the one because I am a knight. So, four wounds uh, at AP2. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> so, uh, that's oh. all of them. No. We have, you had one wounded Alaris, I remember that. Yes. Uh, so uh, it's going to be two Alaris dead, which are ones you want to remove. So now I will fight with my Gallant against those pesky Custodian Guards. So I have uh, a lot of attacks against those in invaders, those bad guys. 12 uh, attacks, hidden on threes because you're minus one to hit. Uh, am I doing? Yes, yes. So I fought with him. No, no. Now you fight with the Blade Champion before I fight with yes. him. So that's that's how it should, should be. Um, Five? Yes. Okay, so all hit. And the six doesn't do anything now. Yeah. You know what? I think. Um, yeah, so no wounds, unfortunately, with the Blade Champion because he's strength six and I'm toughness 12. So. Uh, that was unlucky on your part. You had devastating wounds as well, but... Uh, the gallon now. So 12 attacks, uh, hitting on threes. So five hits only. That's a, a very bad roll in terms of hitting. Uh, but okay in terms of wounding. So five wounds uh, at AP a lot. So four up safe. Okay, so you lose two guys. Could have been much worse. So you probably want to kill the shield because he's less useful in the uh, yeah. fight. And uh, yeah, that's not bad, not bad by any means. And now you have uh, your Alarus to fight against my Wargrave and probably <laughs> get him out of commission. <laughs> His shield has soaked up two wounds uh, and, and the squad is pretty much fully operational still, which is not good for me. Um, now the Alarus. Alarus. Five attacks, all hit, that's nice. And wounding on fives with full reels. Full rerolls. <laughs> Don't worry yet. Okay, one. That's an important roll. And I don't have CPs to reroll that, so I really want to pass that. Yes, passed it. Okay, so now I fight back with my Warg Wave. So four attacks. I think I still have... Yeah, I will. I still have the three rerolls because I could have given it in the command phase. So, wait. Sorry, that was not a hit. Uh, I don't have sustained here because I didn't charge. So three hits and wounding you on threes. Yes, three wounds. AP uh, two. He is not dead. He's uh, one wound. Has one wound remaining. They are clinging to life. The four wounds are very 
nice to have. And now your entire squad over there is gonna fight. Yeah. So it's 20 attacks with the spears and then the blade champion. Okay, so 20 attacks hitting on threes because I'm minus one to hit. And you don't have any uh, thing on sixes. Because Kato is the defense one. Okay. And wounding on fives with four heroes. Uh, one with four heroes. Wounding on fives is sometimes like that. Sometimes you get everything, sometimes you get nothing. Okay, so how many is that? Uh, well. Six. Yes. Okay. So six saves. I fail them all. <laughs> so it's 12 damage. Not great. Okay, 12 damage. And I've only passed two, so I've taken 10. So 13 wounds down on the Gallant. So nine wounds left on the Gallant, and now five attacks from the Blade Champion. Hitting on threes. Uh, no rerolls to hit, and wounding on sixes with full rerolls. No wounds, and one wound, which is a devastating wound. So I'm gonna just suffer three damage and uh, suffer three damage. So I have six wounds remaining. I'm pretty mu pretty compromised with my gallant, but still alive. Uh, not bad. Okay, so I think this is everything. Yeah. I think that's everyone has fought. So now mm -hmm. we'll do points. Uh, you've scored for bringing down nothing. nothing. <laughs> and for storm hostile objective, nothing. Nothing. Because I'm still uh, holding on to that objective. And in my turn, I'm going to score 10 victory points again uh, because I control that one and this one. And uh, this is the third battle round, so no objectives are leaving the table yet. So my turn, I've drawn Assassination and Extend Battle Lines, scored 10 victory points for the objectives, this one and that one over there. Calodus has popped up over here uh, in order to score Extend Battle Lines. In, other, in terms of other moves, I did not fall back anywhere because unfortunately Knights cannot fall back and do stuff anymore, as far as I understand. So uh, we are limited to what we can do inside combat. So we'll be shooting now. First, I'll start with this. Uh, Warglaive, who's gonna put his melting gun and thermal spear, everything into the um, what's his name? Alaris. <laughs> Alaris in one wound. So the thermal spear, uh, sorry, the melting gun hits, and melting gun needs a three to wound. It wounds, warp save. Yes. And two thermal spears, two hits. I need three to wound. I reroll into one because I'm a knight. Yes, two wounds, two for up saves. Please fail one. <laughs> My God, why? 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 He uh, just wants to leave yes. so much. He, he, he deserves that for his efforts. He eluded four Melta shots in straight into his face. Uh, now this guy, so he will put everything he has except for the battle cannon because it's blast into the squad of uh, wardens and the battle cannon is going to go into the land razor. So, uh, the battle cannon, uh, five shots. Um, I'm actually, yeah, five shots plus. Can I do like minus one to damage six. now? Uh, not on the land raider. You could do that on these guys. You could do it for free. Uh, well, not for free. For not one for CB. free. For one CB. Yeah, you could do it. Yeah, uh, I have my melting gun is D6 plus two. My Icarus is damaged too, so it would be efficient against Icarus. I would probably leave that for my fight attacks. Mm -hmm. So uh, five uh, shots plus six, so this much, 11. Uh, I'm gonna keep the reroll because I'm more interested in doing damage to the guys I'm in combat with. Uh, so I am shooting out of combat, so I'm minus one to hit. Not a pistol. So one wound at AP1. Okay, it's fine. Uh, and now the guns that I'm more interested in. So, Icarus, all hit, and wounding on uh, fours with a reroll. So, three wounds. Icarus is very efficient, even though it physically cannot shoot them because of how, how it's positioned, but okay. <laughs> so, uh, one fail, two damage on the Warden, mm -hmm. and the Melty Gun now. It hits. And it wounds. Uh, four up save, 
Anna is notoriously good at rolling four ups against Melta. Yes, it's her superpower, you see? <laughs> um, it's so annoying. It's very bad, actually. I, because I really needed to kill at least some, like, one here, someone, or someone here. That, that was necessary for the plan. Uh, now, the Gallant. The same story with him. Um, and the, his, this guy's gonna shoot into the land raider. It's the only target, really. Uh, the uh, melt again from the guns hits. No, it doesn't hit because it's uh, in combat um, and it's not pistol. So uh, the uh, rockets, sorry, two more shots. I uh, reroll the one. Uh, so two hits and uh, two wounds. AP2, so four ups again. Okay, at least one fail. And uh, it's not gonna kill a guy, it's damage two. Alright, d6 damage, damage two. So, uh, that's just a wounded guy. Not great, honestly. Uh, and the eight shots into the land raider from my Halvern. So... Yeah, all hit but one. Fives, two wounds with reroll, three and one. Two wounds, AP one. Okay, one fail, damage three. Mm. Not gonna matter a single bit. Now we fight. So you fight first, unfortunately. And uh, you have to choose one unit that you want to fight with. 20 attacks into my gallant from this squad. And they want to finish off my gallant, unfortunately, and I have nothing to stop them. Okay, so... Yep, that's... Probably. No, it's minus one to hit, so uh, twos also miss. Yeah, I also should choose Kata. Yes, you should have done that before you rolled. So. Yeah, but it's going to be a defensive one. Okay, so minus one to hit. Cool. Um, now the wound roll is fives again. And again, re-roll and everything. So three wounds as of now, and re-roll on those. One. Too many. Yeah. How many is that? Uh, it's uh, nine. Nine, okay. Nine saves. Yeah. Uh, fives. So I passed three exactly average. So I've taken uh, 12 damage, which means that I'm probably gonna die here. Uh, yeah, unless I roll miraculously well. I have only six wounds left, so I have to roll. Yeah. Uh, does he explode? No. So unfortunately, Galen has lost in this fight with the squad. Uh, and yeah, that's that's the sad story of Galen in this battle. Uh, would you like to consolidate? Yeah. Okay. So now I have to fight Paladin against the Wardens because yes, they, <laughs> this guy has a very good chance of killing the Wardwave, but I think. I think that it's more important for me to minimize the threat to the Paladin as my last big knight, so... I will... Uh... <laughs> use minus one damage? Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, so uh, oh, eight attacks um, into that squad. Uh, Reroll on the one. Okay, is that those attacks? Five, six, seven, eight, six. Okay, uh, you're minus one hit, right? You are. Uh -huh. Yes, you've said that before. So only four hits, unfortunately. And uh, you know what? I'm going to reroll one for free with my ability. Yes. So five hits. Uh, and uh, hopefully five wounds. Yes, five wounds. AP minus two uh, into the warden. So if you roll like you should roll, they should die. Yes, they're dead. Thank you. Thank you very much. No, they're not. Wait. Oh, that's one damage. Oh my god. Okay, so uh, how many wounds does the captain have? That's the big question. If he has six wounds, then you are. No, you're still not dead. It's, th it's still only uh, one to kill this guy, and then two more. So two wounds are left on the uh, shield captain. Two or three. I, I don't know. I think I don't think there's seven. I think there's six. So two wounds left on the blade on the captain, uh, and now Alaris has hit four times out of five to my war blade. And wounding me on five, three, one. Finally, he should be able to bring me down here. Okay, so two wounds. Maybe I'll be able to roll two fives. Who knows? 
No. Uh, unfortunately, no, and I only have one CP, so even if I wanted to, I could not fight on death. I, uh, it's a shame that the value in last death is two command points for both big knights and the small ones. I think it should be two, two CP for the big knight and knight, and the one CP for a small one, but alas. So four shrugs to make, and unfortunately, the knight is dead. So does he explode? Please explode. Yes. And how many mortal wounds do I do to this wonderful Alaris over here who just killed me? Let it be uh, three. She has only one left. He has one left, and I've done more, one mortal wound. But you have a four up shrug in it against oh, mortal yeah. wounds. So please don't roll a four as you usually do. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. <sighs> okay, how many wounds to the captain? Maybe it'll be a consolation prize. Maybe I can kill him. He has two wounds left. I need a three here, really? Yes. Okay, so please fail. Please fail to. Please fail to. I'm speechless. Uh, and uh, into the uh, Blade Champion. One. One four up. Of course, that's where you fail. Uh, and uh, the uh, Castilian Guard Squad. I, I'm, losing my, I'm losing my patience here. It's one of the most uh, obnoxious games I've ever, ever had. How like much into the custodian? One. Or a shrug. Okay, uh, there's a guy on one left, I assume? Yes. Okay, so, so one guy is dead there. Oh! <laughs> uh, okay, so... <laughs> that was my turn. Uh, what did I score? I did not kill a character. I didn't. Uh, so I'm gonna discard that. Uh, but I extended my battle lines, I think. Still no, or did I? Did I? Did I not? Um, if you control one or more in no, your own deployment zone, and also one or more in Nomazon, yeah, I do control one of the Hellbrain. So, yes, I get five victory points for this one. Okay. Uh, so, assassination will be discarded, unfortunately, uh, but I'll get command points. So, yeah. That's life. Let's see what Anna does in her turn. <laughs> and we forgot to fight, obviously, with <laughs> these two characters. Uh, so, uh, play champion and uh, shield captain. They need to play fight. champion. Yes, play champion, five attacks. Uh, okay, all hit. And six is two wounds, no reels. No wounds. And now a five, seven attacks from the shield captain who need, who should have been dead a long time ago. Uh, now the... Yeah, so he hits... Wait, let's check his ability because he may have the Kata's extra Kata's active. Let's see. Yeah, so the lethal hits Kata is also active here. So Aina has two automatic wounds and uh, these wounds are five. So four, uh, five up saves, uh, two passed, and uh, four damage. Okay, so uh, four more, sorry, four more damage taken. So seven wounds taken in total for him. So Anna's turn. She has drawn behind enemy lines and secured no man's land. Behind yeah. enemy lines is going to be performed by the Caldas again. So we have this <laughs> jumping around everything. Uh, yeah. And the secure no man's land. She needs to control two objectives in no man's land. Uh, land Raider is already here, and these guys are already here, so no problems whatsoever. Now the shooting. Land Raider, yeah, all, land Raider, the, yeah, all the guns into yeah. the Paladin. Okay. I'm going to spend one CP on the uh, shields. I think. I think it's worth it. Mm. Yeah, I'll do it. Why is it one CP not two? It's uh, one CP now. Really? Because yeah, most for a big knight. Yes, because the uh, we have less command points now, so okay, <laughs> it would be very very bad if it if it was to gonna. Uh, so four shots. Four shots, yes. Two hits uh, and uh, wounding me on horse. Okay, two wounds, four ups. Okay, both passed. It didn't help me, but at least I didn't fail. Uh, three and shots. Three shots. Uh, three shots with the heavy bolter. Yes, and all hit one plus one. Yes, yes. So, four hits, and wounds in the on sixes. Yes, and the reroll that. No wounds there now. Okay, so f nothing. Uh, Bolter. <laughs> Storm Bolter, please don't. Okay, yeah, well, shoot, shoot. four shots. I was four. hoping that you forgot about it. Four shots, yes, four shots with the Storm Bolter. Okay, three hits, and sixes to wounds. I feel so stupid right now. Yeah, last cans did nothing, heavy bolters did nothing, but they... Okay, so just a waste of our time. Uh, <laughs> now the, this squad is gonna shoot. Uh, yeah. His, uh, there are four uh, shots. Yeah, no, three three guys. Uh, three, three guys, three, six, six shots. Six. Yeah, six shots with full rerolls to one. And the alarms can also shoot into the yeah. paladin as well. Six shots, yeah. Uh, so all hit but one. 
and the uh, six is closed. Uh, we roll those. Okay, so three. Uh, all best. And the Alaris' gun, so two shots with the spear. Hitting on twos. Oh, hit. Uh, six is stolen. Nothing. And, uh, and re roll that. Nothing. And now the d6 shots with the b ballistic grenade launcher. Oh, no, wait. No, uh, this, one is, this one is blessed. You cannot yeah. shoot blast into combat. So uh, that is the shooting. Now you charge. Yes. I'm going to move you in because it doesn't okay. matter. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> you're welcome, sir. <laughs> and uh, Alaris. Alaris, if you charge him, then you're not going to be on the brick. Oh, yeah. You yeah, need I'm... to secure an omnibus. Um, so. I'll probably. If, only if you kill him. If you don't kill him, then you will not secure the brick because you cannot consolidate if you did not kill him. You're still going to be in base to base. Uh, how much points? Does I, mean, he have? I I think he has 13. Now. Uh, sorry, 15 now. 15 left. 15. Uh -huh. So I would not recommend risking it. I I think you're better off just keeping uh, your scoring uh, automatic in terms of secure numbers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Solaris is nice to have, but mm. you know what you can also do. Yeah, I can uh, just. Uh, we'll, we'll roll how we'll roll how much you roll for the charge roll. Roll the two dice for the charge roll. Yeah, so you did not roll a lot, so it means that you could, you could do this. Yeah. You could just move no, them no, in no. like that, straight, it, straight is, in. This is captain. Wait. Oh, sorry. Yes. <laughs> so you you move these guys straight in like that, uh, because you could not like fully clear the uh, and base to base everyone, and then uh, just keep one guy like slightly back because he would not be able to base, so he would not move in. Uh, it means that you will not be able to fight with him. That's, so you are sacrificing one guy anyway, but you would still need to do that in order to get four rolls to wound on your squad. So I would still do it anyway. So yeah, I'll I think sacrifice yeah. one custodian guard and instead get the Alaris and three guys with four rolls to wound. I think that's a fair exchange. So where are you going to start? I have two command points, so I can interrupt. It means you should start with the high, most powerful unit. <laughs> yes. Anna, Anna's brain is already swollen. I have, and, I have two brain cells left. Yeah, two brain cells Literally active Literally two brain cells. We just ate pizza, so we yeah, are so I, I just, I, I am so dizzy and I, I fully want understand to sleep you. That's how you I... feel. That's how you feel after a couple of rounds in the yeah. playing the tournament. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay, the, the three-man the squad, the, the four yeah. three-man squad. Okay, yes. So these guys, so, are fighting against him. Yeah. Okay, so you can start with the Blade Champion, um, just because he's a separate profile. Five attacks. Yes. Hitting on three, uh, twos. Uh, you hit on twos, no rerolls. Oh, I, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Kata is probably, in, the, <laughs> in this case, the offensive one, right? Would you like to do lethal hits, sustained hits? Lethal hits, of course. Lethal hits, okay. So then, then this six automatically wounds. Yes. Um, and these two, two wounds. Uh, they don't wound, re-roll them, because you have every rolls. Okay, so one devastating wound and one normal wound. One normal wound of a 6-up. I passed it, which is good. And then three wounds uh, from the... Three damage. Three damage uh, from the devastating wound. So I have 12 wounds left on him. Uh, now the rest of the guy. So yeah. uh, two spears, which is 10 attacks. Two spears, which is... Nah, yeah. <laughs> and I'm switching languages on the fly. <sighs> <laughs> then attacks hitting on twos. I don't have minuses to hit here. Okay, all hit, no sixes, which is an interesting roll. I wish I had minus one hit. You've lost one, so just add one. No, I, not one. Add no. one. No, I lost two. Okay, uh, well, add two. You need to have ten dice in your hand. I'll, I'll count them. Wait. Uh, yes, so that's ten dice. Um, three wounds uh, and reroll those. So reroll these ones, please. <laughs> All of them, man. All of them. <laughs> my... I've never felt, felt so stupid in my life. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh... Okay, so five wounds in total. Yeah. Five wounds, uh, five up saves. Uh, and I'm gonna reroll one for my ability, for free. No, so six damage in total. Sixes. I want to roll sixes. Oh, wow. Good. So I've only failed three. It means that I'm on nine wounds remaining. And now I, uh, now I will interrupt. 
<laughs> I will interrupt. So uh, I'll put my attacks. It's actually a good question. This annoying, uh, annoying guy of annoyingness uh, is still here, and I want to get rid of him because I want to get the honored uh, for my big knight. This five up shrug is much better than six up, but I also want to kill the blade champion. Uh, splitting always works. But judging how well Anna rolls four up saves, uh, I should not split. I disagree that. I'm not. I think I'll check. Anna turned on the minus one to hit cutter for him in addition to the uh, lethal hits one. So now I will be hitting on fours, three rolling once. So two misses, two hits, no ones to reroll, and I've already used my ability. And I don't have any CB, so hopefully I'll wound with these two. I wounded with one. And I cannot reroll this one. So it's all down to Anna's 4 up save. And I think we'll now, before you roll, I think we'll now see uh, a good lesson in never split if you really need to kill that annoying pesky and add a very bad wound there. <laughs> Go ahead. Don't call four me up. That. I did not. I just I implied it. Uh, okay, you failed. Do you have yeah. a CP to reroll it? Uh, yes, I have actually. Okay, would you like to? Of course. Okay, go ahead. No, I think it's wise. You, you want to save your warlord and you don't want to give me a warlord. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, so four <laughs> attacks into the blade champion. Maybe I'll kill him. So uh, two, no, three, all hit this time because this is yes, not the guy yes. with my side. Uh, so three wounds. Good luck. <sighs> Please don't wish me good luck. <laughs> I, mean I have it. a lot already. <laughs> <laughs> Too much. <laughs> okay. Only to three wounds suffered. Okay, so he has two wounds left, which means nothing. Okay, uh, so now you fight, continue fighting. So uh, yeah. Blade Champion and Captain. Captain yeah. is still alive, uh, so you can fight with him. Doesn't matter, I've already fought. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, Blade Champion. <laughs> yes. Uh, oh, oh, hit, yes. And no sixes, right? I don't think so. Okay, go ahead. I'm not going to check his wound. Uh, one devastating wound, which is uh, three six up shrugs. No shrugs whatsoever. So I am down to six wounds and the captain seven attacks. Yeah. Uh, so six hits, no sixes. Um, okay, so three wounds, and you're not rerolling anything. So three wounds, five up saves, two two passed, one fail, six up shrugs, no shrugs. So I am down to four wounds on that paladin. So he's very very much in a bad situation. And the worst part is that I don't have uh, anyone to help him. And Alaris. Oh yeah, sure. Uh, <laughs> maybe this will end here. <laughs> So four attack, sorry, five attacks five. with the LRs. So two sixes, which are lethal hits. I'm gonna roll them now. So uh, one failed, six up shrugs. So two wounds suffered. So I only have two wounds left and uh, three more hits. Uh, and two reroll more. the four, reroll the four. It's four reels. Okay, so three more wounds. Uh, so yeah, he suffers uh, six damage. He has two wounds left, he's dead. Does he explode? No, he doesn't. Uh, and that is the end of my big knights. And we'll see now what Anna scored and we'll see if I can do anything about this game because I'm not sure there is any way for me to win it at this point. Uh, but we'll think about that. So yeah, we thought about what can happen here for the Imperial Knights. And unfortunately, I don't think with one Caldas and one Helverin there is any possibility for me to win because Anna is controlling the Omega objective, which is going to be the one that is... 15 points at the end of the game. So, and there's no way for me to get that objective away from her because she, she has a full health on Raider here and she has a, a unit of Castanian Guard which she can still heal a guy into. And uh, two relatively, well, they're very fragile characters, but I have very few resources to actually do anything with them. So, unfortunately, I don't think with 22 points on the secondaries and 18 points for the secondary. For me, I don't think there is a way for me to win this game. So, congratulations, Anna, with your <laughs> no, victory. No, it's just a 
my uh, two last brain cells understand something. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, it was a victory of my uh, dice and uh, <laughs> defeat for your dice. I actually think that you played rather well, so I don't think you should uh, leave that out. I think you you've uh, didn't you didn't do any mistakes, so you've uh, continued to put pressure on the Imperial Knights. It's just, I think the Imperial Knights were extremely unlucky in this game. Yeah, and uh, I was very lucky. And you rolled very well in yeah. those key moments when uh, the dice really meant a lot. So, like, those so it wasn't separate... Fair. You know, well, dice are always fair and unfair at the same time because you know, they're always random. So that you, you, a good general should always take that into account. But sometimes when dice say you don't win today... Zinch decides that you don't win today. So, what, what's, what was your favorite unit? Uh, my favorite unit, um, your custodian guard, actually. <laughs> I think oh, really? they were my favorite unit. Yeah, they're really very really nice. I wish yeah. I was playing custodians mm -hmm. today. Um, and they're nice models as well, I think. Uh, well, in all honesty, I think my favorite unit was still uh, Kenny's Rex. Even though he died very quickly, I just I, I saw the raw potential he had. Obviously, you rolled well on the invulnerable saves and you killed him very quickly, which was partially maybe my mistake because I, I did not take into account that I can fail in all of the parts of my plan in the first turn. And I put him kind of far away, but still close enough that if nothing happens with the, your unit over here, you can still charge me. Uh, and I was hoping for the move block here with my Warglaive for, for you to not be able to just run with your land really through the center and uh, disembark and charge him, but alas. But still, I think he was very good. What was your favorite unit? My dice. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not a unit. What is yeah, your these unit? were part of my army today. Yes, exactly. They were on your side. Your, those uh, pink dice are going to be your mainstay, I, I assume, for now. Yeah, I think my favorite unit was Calidus. Calidus, she yeah, did definitely. A lot. She, she is the MVP of the Custodes roster today because she does so much for the army for so few points she single-handedly stopped that armager from charging the first turn because there was a five inch charge and i rolled double ones and i had one cp but it was not enough for me yeah. to reroll that yes so yeah uh that was that was a very good unit and my colors also helped me my engines here count as, as anna said in the beginning of the game the ugly sister of the two <laughs> no don't say that <laughs> That was so, private. Yeah. Um, the Caldus for me is also, was also helpful, but did not really matter because everything else died. <laughs> so, yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope this game was entertaining for you, and we will see you next time.